Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the content you're about to see, and if you do, and if you're not already subscribed to me, please hit that subscription button that's right down here, and the notification bell so that you'll see my upcoming content in the future. I'm here in Harriman State Park, and actually, which is in New York, uh, Slotesburg, New York, uh, about an hour outside of New York City. And interestingly enough, I am just shooting this about an hour, less than an hour after finishing my last video from the same location, but a little bit further away. What happened was I had, it was a woodland trail, you know, through the hills and I had left the trail to, to pursue some interesting composition, which if you go back to my last video, you'll see them. But um, I couldn't find the trail on the way back because of all the old autumn foliage completely covering the trail and it's not that heavily trafficked, so there's just no footpath. Fortunately, I did find my way back to the road that I took to get to the parking lot. So I was hiking along the parking lot and um, in the time that, I, that that happened, the sun came out. It hadn't been out all morning. The sun is out now, as you can see. And it's really given me a completely different set of uh, lighting uh, situations and composition possibilities that I had earlier today. In fact, just hiking, uh, I haven't even gotten back to the car yet, but hiking along the road um, and making sure I wasn't going to hit by a car or something, I happened to see a number of uh, interesting compositions that I wound up clambering down the hillside a little bit and taking a bunch from one specific location near an abandoned um, summer camp. Um, I didn't shoot the summer camp itself, it was too far down, too sketchy to get there, but I found some really nice shots. I'm gonna post them up right here, and then I'll go on with my story. I hope you enjoyed those shots and I'm going to have a, uh, I think another good possibility right here. You can hear beside me there's a kind of a little babbling brook. It's a very small little brook but I just can't pass up cascades. Um, and um, this is going to be an interesting uh, uh, although somewhat lighting challenge uh, image because of the fact that the sun is starting to come out and in fact it's moving fairly rapidly as I'm speaking. Uh, so I can see it's starting to cover up the uh, uncover the moss. I'm going to have to use a polarizing filter, maybe a neutral, de neutral density, well definitely a neutral density filter because I'm going to have to slow down the, the shutters to about at least around a half a second I think and I may play around with it. I'm also going to have to have focus stack because, I'm, because of how close I am to the very foreground here. It's not a big scene, it's mainly, it's kind of an intimate little scene actually and I like intimate scenes. So you have uh, mossy rocks and autumn leaves and uh, one little plant that's kind of grow out of the, out of the rocks, actually a couple of them. And um, so I'm going to put the 35 15, 16 to 35 uh, millimeter on my 5D4 and uh, see what I can come up with. All right, I've set up for a base exposure with my polarizer on. Um, on the 16-35 is that about, uh, well it's at 16 millimeters, I zo zoomed all the way in. Um, and I've got F10 at uh, 4 tenths of a second, which is pretty much what I want. I want to focus stack this from front to back, which means about, maybe about 4 to 5 images. And, if, uh, and in fact, because the, the, what I've got now is quite a bit of highlight and shadow, I'm going to wind up focus bracketing also. A five shot, five image bracket at each at each focus point, starting with I guess this log right here, which is just in the in the in the frame of view. Then the front of the rock, the front rock there. Then the uh, back of the rock, and where the cascade is over there. And then a little bit higher up. So I'm going to have at least four to five focus points on what is a very intimate um, scene. And now I have to combine them in Photoshop, both um, and Lightroom. Actually, I'm going to wind up doing an HDR. It's going to be probably an HDR focus stack type of thing. Um, I think this will work. And if it doesn't, you'll see it. And if it does, you'll still see it. All right, so here we go. 
So image number one, after, after kicking the, the, uh, the uh, tripod, recomposing. Right, let me just stop right here, because I've got to set up the bracketing. This will be one of the few times that I use autofocus. Not because I don't trust my focus, but just because I don't trust myself to get close enough to the, ca to the camera to really see what, exactly what I'm doing zoomed in without falling into the drink. So I'm using, thankfully, this uh, camera has a great uh, touch screen. So I'm going to use the uh, touch screen to first focus, as I said, here and then down there. I've set up for five shot brackets at each vocal point. But now I just added a three stop ND filter to start to, because I want to try and slow down the exposure. The, the uh, base exposure I actually wound up with because of the fact that it got brighter was actually about a fifth of a second, well, which was a little faster than I really wanted. So uh, right now with a three stop, I've actually got a two, two, stop, two second exposure as my base exposure, which is actually really longer than I was. So what I'm gonna do now, because I've already got the ISO at 100, I'm gonna stop down. Oops. Actually, I should stop, change my ISO. That's the other thing I should do. Okay. So same setup, haven't moved the camera, but I have added a three-step graduated filter because I want to try and get a, 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 a quicker or a, a slightly longer shutter speed. I actually wind up with a base shutter speed of about a fifth of a second. And that's really longer than I really, a little shorter than I really wanted. So I'm now at ISO 400 getting three tenths of a second at f8 and I'm going to use the same series of bracketed exposures I'm going to you know from the front middle to the back about five focal points and and five bracketed shots at each end so this is going to be this may look quite a bit different just because of the blurring of the water which I hope to increase with a longer shutter speed all right so here we go Alrighty. Ultimately, I think this composition was a fail. The light was way too harsh. You can hardly even see the brook and the composition is dominated by that rock in the middle. I worked really hard on it to bring down the contrast and uh, sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. I think this one was a miss. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a video. It's um, turned into a blue sky Hot sunny day, harsh, light is very harsh. It's great for hiking, but not great for, for photography. So I'm gonna call it an episode. I hope I'll see you next time. And if you do uh, did like uh, what you saw and, and you're not already subscribed, please do. Hit that subscription bell, smash that. No notification button. Oh, come on. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscription button down here and the like and the like button and the notification bell so you see my next video. See you next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.